Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a line that is at 90 degrees to a given uh, straight line. So what I mean is we have a straight line and you're asked to draw a line that is perpendicular, that's at 90 degrees. So let's call this line AB. And you have to draw a line that is perpendicular either from point A, for example. So that means you're going to be having a line straight up like this. Or maybe somewhere in between. A line straight up like this. So how do you go ahead to do it? And interestingly, in this video, we are not going to be using our protractor. We are not going to be using our protractor. What we are going to be using is our compass. So that's another interesting thing about this video. And the knowledge of this will also help you if you are asked to draw a tangent to a normal. Don't forget, a tangent is at 90 degrees to a normal. So if you are doing any construction and you want to draw your tangent after getting your normal, in some cases, you might not be able to use your protractor. So your compass will come handy and make it easy for you. So I'm going to be giving you different scenarios how to go about it in this video. So before we get into it, if you are here to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy. It's absolutely free. It won't cost you anything, but it will help this channel to grow. So please, please, just down below, uh, just look below this uh, video. You are going to see that subscribe. Just click on it and the little bell icon. All right. So thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So now let's look at this first example. Let's say I have a straight line. So let me call this line A, A, B. And we are asked to draw a line uh, that is perpendicular to line A, B, let's say from points, from those points. And then let's call that point, point C. So from those points, okay, so from those points now, we are asked to draw a line that is perpendicular. So what you just do is, since we know the points that you are drawing that perpendicular line, that's the line that is at 90 degrees. So you bring in your compass as any convenience length, you are going to draw a semicircle on that line. So, with the same length, where this semicircle is touching line AB, it's touching it on this point. You are going to draw an arc. On this other point also, you are going to draw an arc. With the same length, you draw an arc. So, where these two arcs are touching the semicircle with the same length on our uh, uh, compass, you place it there. You draw another arc. So, this is it. Then on the other arc also, you from that point, you are going to draw another arc. So, from, from their point of intersection, so this is the point of intersection. What you are going to do is you are going to join this down to C, point C. And having done that, we've been able to draw a perpendicular line to line AC. And if you bring in a protractor to confirm, so you can see that it is at 90 degrees. So that is it. That is the first scenario. So. Another th way I want to talk about is, now before I talk about that, this line AB is horizontal. So if, even if you are having a line that is vertical, so if your line is vertical, and then this time around, maybe this is our line, a, this is our point A, this is our point B, and you are asked to draw a line that is perpendicular to line AB from those points, from those points, so that would be point, uh, point C. It's just the same step. It's the same step you are going to follow. So once you bring in your your, uh, your compass, you draw an, uh, a semicircle on this line, like this. So with the same step, just the same way we did this, just follow the same step and you are going to get, get it. So that is it on that one. Then the next uh, one I want to talk about is, what if you have a straight line? So let me draw the straight line. So let me call this line A, B. So line A and then B. And you are asked to draw a line that is perpendicular to line A, B from point B. From point B. Now if you notice that point B is at the end of this line. So point B is at the end. So how do you go about it? So don't worry. Let me, let's, let's do this together. So if you already find the value in this video, please click on the thumbs up button. Click on the thumbs up to give this video a thumbs up. So once you place your compass at any convenient length, you know, you can see I didn't measure the length, just at any convenient length, I can decide to increase it, to reduce it, but at any convenient length. 
So from point B, since you are drawing a perpendicular line from point B, so from point B you draw a semicircle. And interestingly, you don't need to extend this line AB to the right. You don't need to. So if you have drawn your semicircle with the same length on your compass, you come to this point where the semicircle is touching line AB. You are going to draw an arc on the semicircle with the same length. That arc that we've just drawn, you place your compass there. Where the arc is touching the semicircle, you draw another arc. So that means you are having two, uh, uh, two arcs on the semicircle. So with the same length also, so you place the compass on both arc. You use it to draw another arc. On the other arc, on the semicircle, you draw another one. Alright, so now let's note the point of intersection. This is the point of intersection. So from the point of intersection now, you are going to join it to point B. So you can see that we've been able to get what? A line that is perpendicular at 90 degrees. So let's bring in our, our protractor to confirm. So if I place my protractor there, so you can see that we are having our 90 degrees. So you don't need to use our protractor to mark the angle. What we are just using is our compass and we don't need to extend this line. So like I said, this thing is very important if you are doing other, other drawing or other construction and you need to draw a line that is perpendicular to a given straight line from any point. Once you apply this principle, you'll be able to get a correct correct answer so all right so it's looking clear now so if you have any question or any comments for me uh, please leave it in the comment section below if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up also check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing there are a lot of videos there that i believe will be of help help to you you can also check out our website paacademy.co paacademy.co thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in another video thank you